It's obviously a lot of uh, pressure on Joe Biden coming from a variety of sources to potentially allow himself to be replaced. But as of right now, is he bowing to that pressure? Not so much. Take a look. There are no plans, I'm told, for the president to drop out of the race. And even further, I'm told that the president is still committed to a second debate in September, which is currently scheduled for September 10th and hosted by ABC News, much along the lines of the rules of the debate that was hosted last night. They're not putting too much stock in the conversation last night and that many of the staffers on the campaign and in the White House also worked on President Obama's reelection in 2012. And they tried to draw the parallel to that first debate that was a, a very low performance for President Obama. Even he would call it a stinker. And they said, if you had believed the pundits in the wake of that debate, Mitt Romney would be president, uh, would have been president after that. Now, look, in defense of the reporter there, Kayla Tosh, she says that the aides tried to draw the parallel. She's not saying it's a good parallel. And she goes on to say in the extended comments, um, but obviously there was nobody at that time, even after the Obama debate, saying that he should be replaced because everyone understood that it was an uncharacteristically poor performance in a debate. So it's it's not a good comparison to draw. But according to the official line, which doesn't necessarily mean anything, uh, he not only plans to stay in, but he plans to debate again which will be exciting, I guess. And he was at a Waffle House earlier today. We can't play the video for you because there's copyrighted music being played and I don't want my channel to be destroyed. But he said there, I think we did well and it's hard to debate a liar. And I will grant him that in some ways it is hard to debate a liar, but it is made harder to debate a liar when you're not very good at pointing out the insane lies that they're telling. When you don't jump on the, I took a cognitive test and they killed babies after birth. like. It's kind of easy to fight a liar like that who tells obviously insane things that you can smack down. He just didn't really do it. The video will continue in just a moment. But first, I have a message for you. TYT needs your help. Membership is vital to survival. So please go to tyt.com team and become a member today. Although in Biden's defense again, and feel free to respond to this, Brett. Yeah, it's a little bit harder to fight a liar when the moderators apparently have marching orders to not fact check anything, no matter how wildly deranged or conspiratorial. So I will say that in defense of Joe Biden, but what do you think? Joe Biden didn't lose the debate because Donald Trump's a liar. There are true. That's just that's a ridiculous true. bad and yet another bad counter argument after a series of counter arguments he failed at making before. And he had the benefit of a lot of people telling him how to spin his poor debate performance. And all he could come up with was it's tough to debate a, a bad a liar. And then later also I have a sore throat. Like maybe you have a sore throat because you've been alive so long and you've said so many words and your throat's been alive for so long it doesn't work anymore. Like I hate to break oh, it, man, but like that's no, that's not fair. Look, I do think that he apparently had a cold. I think that can yeah. exacerbate issues. I don't think that it explains the issues, but it does make it a little bit harder. It doesn't yeah. help him. And like I understand that Dana and, and Jakey Jake didn't do so great in terms of combating it. But like the thing you do when you have a bad day is you blame the refs. Like you can't blame the refs for that. Joe Biden had just as many opportunities to fact check Donald Trump as the the moderators of the debate. And there were so sure. many artifices in the rules that kept Donald Trump from lying for too long and gave Joe Biden the opportunity to rebut them. It's just, it's just bad. It's just sad. If I that's agree. where the dis, if it, much of politics is about determining where the conversation is going to be and what it's going to be about, and this is the conversation we're having after the debate. It just looks horrible every way you look at it. Sure. Look, and to be fair, look to be clear, when I blame the moderators, I do not blame them for causing Biden to lose. First of all, they had said they were going to fact check, which is why it seems right. so weird that they did not at all ever about anything, but it is still his job to do it. And I don't think that had they done some fact checking, I don't think that would have saved the debate performance. In fact, it might have made him look even less competent because clearly someone can fact check him. Why aren't you doing it? So I like, just pointed out as a thing that did happen. Yeah, the, I the give you downside, just really quick, the downside of the another, the thing I would criticize the moderators for is just like, at, like hammer, what they did hammer down on is the stuff that like, 
It's just that they fetishize um, certain narratives and the whole like, will you accept the election results? Everybody knows yeah. the answer to that. You're not going to get a new position from him. And even after he said, I shouldn't yeah. have to say that, but yes, I I will accept it. They just went back because yes, they're they were kind of hack at that point. Yeah. Well, and like it's a tough position because it is important, but they keep asking, as you say, they're not going to get generally they're not going to get an answer. And there he did answer. He lied because he's yeah. not actually going to accept the results. So you allow, you gave him a platform to lie. So in that case, they're in a tough position. Thanks for watching our video. Did you know that you can support our show by becoming a subscriber? Just click the subscribe button and also ring the bell so that you get notifications when we're live or when we post new content.